Hey guys, it is Ashley May and I am coming at you today with a shoulder or a total upper body workout today. You will have to excuse my voice. I am just getting over uh, a flu this past week, so I still have some stuff going on in my throat. So, you know, uh, uh, look look past that if you can. Um, so today we're gonna go over a couple of different movements that I like to do for my shoulders, upper body, getting some cardio in too. In between sets, I'm gonna go over a couple of tips for each movement. So. Let's do it. So we're gonna start today with the seated military press here. I'm gonna start with a few reps, adjust the bar. I do that every single time I do um, any movement that includes adding weight, especially with my shoulders. I'd rather just do a few, make sure everything feels good and prime everything before I start because you don't wanna get underneath the bar, press it, and you're doing 12 reps, and now you have some pinching in your shoulder. So I always do a couple fours to get everything warmed up, so we're gonna start off with that. Okay guys, so I have these wraps here. Um, you don't have to use them, but just in case you see people using them and you're wondering why are those even on, um, the reason I like to use them is because they keep my wrist more supported, but also they keep it flat. And that's one of the things that I know that if I'm not mindful of it, and it's hard to be mindful of it when you have 20, 16 or so reps the entire time, uh, it helps keep your wrist more flat so you're not rocking it back. See, it's harder to do that. Rocking it back. Um, and causing you to have some wrist pain later, some tighter forearms later, um, and then causing it to make it to where your wrist possibly go down because you can't press. So, yeah, so we have these for that exact reason. Okay, guys, so in that last set, if you notice, you can see me breathe and it's pretty noticeable. Um, when you're doing your sets and you're putting anything over your head, one of the biggest things that I tell uh, my clients and that I make sure I do is you need to control your breathing. Before I let the weight come down and as I'm pressing it, I'm holding my breath the whole time. At the top, I reset my breathing. I call it resetting. I breathe out, take a big deep breath, hold it on the way down, and then also holding it all the way up. At the top, you reset real fast. By doing that, you're keeping your chest nice and pushed up. It's, it's a lot more solid. Um, keep your core nice and engaged and uh, strong as you're doing the, uh, the weight. So just make sure you're gonna be pressing the weight above your head. You're not breathing your air out. It's really easy to let your shoulders drop. You don't wanna be doing that during this movement. So, um, so also guys, if you do not already have your own workout log, this is one of the ones I'm using uh, right now, just a regular notebook you should be having a workout log that you are tracking. Because if you're not seeing results and you're wondering why, you can't change what you're not tracking. So just make sure whenever you're doing your workouts, you track what you're doing, what's working, what your progress is. Otherwise, it's really easy to come in here and do the same thing and not progress and not see any changes. So just make sure you grab one also. So if you're at a gym, male or female, rack your weights. Don't leave this crap out for someone else to pick up and move and wonder if you're on it. re you your weights. Especially if you're coming here to NAS Power. Uh, the owner lord will make you clean up this gym if you don't clean up your weights. Okay, so we're gonna start off this super set with some front raises. Um, more so geared towards the front that up here. When you're doing them, um, you're gonna see that I have a soft bend in my elbow. When you're doing it, it shouldn't be locked, also it shouldn't be bent. So when you're raising it up, keep this nice and soft. It should still be straight, but nice and soft. Be focusing right on this area near your uh, shoulders, right in here. Raise it to your shoulders, stop at that point, no point in going higher than that, all right? Let's do it. Okay guys, so this is a sled. There are a bunch of ways that you can use this same uh, um, apparatus to uh, do different movements. But today I'm doing pulls. Pulls are good for a bunch of different things. It's good for your back. I'm doing it in a squatted position, so that's better for my glutes. I'm also using very much my shoulders, but also it's just fun. Something different to do in the gym. 
one of the things I like to do with my own workouts and my clients is just make it to where you're coming in, not doing the same thing every day. Personally, I'm aiming to do this for a long time, not just get burnt out and stop for a period of time, which so many people do. So don't forget, when you're coming in, yes, it's about progress, it's about making your body stronger, but it's also very, very much also about having fun too. So make sure you keep doing that as well. With this superset, I'm doing uh, rear delt flies first with dumbbells, and then after I'm doing the sandbag uh, bear crawls uh, drags. So for this first one, for the rear delt flies, one of the things to definitely keep in mind is your wrists. Your wrists should not be dragging, it shouldn't be flexed, it should be nice and flat. So when you're raising, if it helps, think about leading with your elbows. That way you're not ending up with your wrists so much higher than your elbows, and now you're not really engaging your adult the way you know you, or the way you should be doing. So when you're watching uh, me do this movement, watch my elbows, they're leading. Also watch my wrists, they're flat, okay? All right, let's do it. I like those. Tell me about those. So, what <laughs> is those? Um, so, those are bear crawls and you're dragging the sandbag. The sandbag is 75 pounds, just so you know. So, I'm dragging it all the way. I just did this first side. So, every time that I drag uh, the sandbag, my left foot is forward and I'm pulling with my left arm. The next set I'm going to be doing with my left, I'm sorry, duh, my right leg up and pulling with my right arm the entire time. Now, this past set, when I was doing the left side, my quads are burning, my shoulders are burning, and it's very much cardio and core. So when you're doing those things, just be mindful that's what you should be pulling from. Also be mindful to keep your butt more down so you're able to actually push up and use your uh, quad. Okay, next set. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it for today. Again, we get some upper body, shoulders predominantly, core, cardio, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. If you would like to see more posts from me, Please feel free to uh, follow my Instagram, Ashley Main, also Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Also, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube and head to my website, AshleyMain.com, for all that good stuff and more. Alright? Bye!